This video is going to be about f-stops and the effect it has on depth of field in your pictures. This lens has several f-stops. All the way to the right we see f4 is what this lens is on right now. Then we have 5.6, 5.6, then f8, then 11, 16, 22, and 32. We're going to be looking through the lens this way as I increase the f-stop. Now remember right now this lens is set at f4. We are looking through the lens and the f-stop is on f4. This is 5.6, f8, f11, f16, f22, 32. It's easy to see how the f-stop affects the exposure as the numbers get lower, more light passes through the lens. However, the depth of field is still a mystery. I have taken a number of pictures of this scene. The camera is focused on the sign nearest the camera on the right and will remain focused on that sign throughout the rest of the pictures. I'm going to change the f-stop now to f8 and if you look at the limbs of the trees right behind the sign on the right they're beginning to come in to focus. I'm going to up the f-stop again and more limbs are now in focus. So the depth of field is moving away from the sign that I have the camera focused on. Here's F16. Even more limbs are now in focus. And at F22, it looks to me like the other sign is now in focus. But not everything is in focus yet. If you look all the way down the hill, you'll see a fence and it runs downhill and there's a little trail going up the hill. Well, there's a little trash container there. And when I go up to F32, it is in focus and it looks to me like now the entire scene is in focus even though the camera is focused on the sign closest to the camera on the right. In this scene I have focused the camera to infinity which means all the trees and beyond are in focus and if you take a look at the two doors that are open here and close to the camera the ends of the doors are out of focus and the camera is set at f3.5 here I've changed the f-stop to f22 and now you can see that everything is now in focus including the ends of the doors. You can also use depth of field to bring attention to the subject in a picture. Here the camera is focused about halfway in the center of this picture and the f-stop is 4.5 giving me a fairly shallow depth of field probably an inch or so maybe a little over an inch and you can see that the components 
in the front are out of focus and the components in the back are out of focus. Many cameras have a preview button so you can see the depth of field and that's what I'm demonstrating here. When you operate the preview button it adjusts the aperture to the f-stop setting. This is what it looks like when you operate the preview button. You'll notice that the scene got darker, but what you're looking for is what has come into focus. In a higher f-stop, of course, it's going to get darker, but more of the scene will be in focus. And this will allow you to adjust what you're focused on and the f-stop to get the depth of field you're looking for. I hope this video has helped you understand what depth of field is and by using the focus of your camera and f-stop you can control where and how much depth of field there is in your picture. Thanks for watching.